With a nickname so catchy, it's not hard to see why cash for clunkers captured so much attention. By one auto industry estimate, more than 200,000 cars sold in one week. But I'm happy to report that it has succeeded well beyond our expectations and all expectations. It's a lot more complicated than we thought. And but for car anymore. dealers, success is a relative term. Jim Russomano at Nutley Chevrolet in northern New Jersey sold three extra cars this week thanks to the government's $1 billion rebate program. But the website where Russomano and thousands of other dealers are supposed to file claims was still crashing today. And he's worried he's cutting deals that might not get reimbursed. I don't know that there's any dealers that are in a position that they can afford to lose $3,500 or $4,500 on a deal they've already written. The program, which offers drivers of old, qualifying gas guzzlers $35 to $4,500 toward the purchase of new, more fuel-efficient vehicles, was also criticized for being too complicated. The qualifications ran eight pages long. Keeping track of sales seems just as complicated. Is there objection? Last night, the government threatened to suspend the program after fears it burned through all its money well before the scheduled November 1st end date. Nobody is really sure exactly how much money has been spent uh, and whether or not the program has already run out of money. The White House quickly said no, keep going. And this afternoon, the House temporarily shelved other business to set aside an extra $2 billion for the program. Cash for clunkers with notable dissent. Maybe we should have a cash for cluckers program and pay people to eat chicken. Still, it passed by two-thirds majority. The bill is passed without objection. And sales continue flowing. This New York dealership was writing eight clunker deals today alone. So while there clearly has been confusion about the program from dealers and consumers, there's no question it's driven up foot traffic and sales inside dealerships, which makes them happy, and they could be getting even more money. Katie? All right, Jeff Glor, Jeff, thank you.